that I'm sitting in the driver's seat, let's press the button and start up the engine. Listen to that burbling into life. Let's go. Pulling away gently, the car is currently with Audi Drive Select and Comfort mode. You can configure it, including the new RS1 and RS2 modes, which replace individual. You have two different settings accessible through the hotkey on the steering wheel, where you can literally just press the button and set the car exactly how you've pre-configured it. If not that, though, you can pop it into Comfort or into Dynamic, depending on the driving experience. You've got the eight-speed automatic gearbox comfortably doing its thing right now as we cruise on down the road with the three digital displays part of the MMI system as well as the virtual cockpit really just helping giving you lots of information and making it all very easy to know what's going on there is a lot of technology inside this car but just the moment just gently driving and enjoying an element of what it's capable of On the central screen, you can swipe it along if you want to go through the different tiles that are on display, and you can also adjust your individual RS modes in there and change the settings. Also, the dashboard has the new style display, so when you're in the RS modes, you get this better view of the rev counter, the crucial information when you are driving more dynamically, let's say if you're on the racetrack or just wanting to be more aware of what's going on, so you get a better visibility and an amazing shift pattern as well when it's time to upshift the way the whole dashboard flashes is really cool. In general driving, it's calm, it's comfortable. The adaptive suspension is very easily riding over the bumps, but if we press the RS1 mode button and we push the gear stick into manual and we can use the new paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel, you can start to get a little sense of what the car can do and a listen to that glorious V8 as well, the four litre by turbo V8. Bubbling away behind us, really a big part of the parcel that comes with this car. The ability to have, well now with five people with the optional five seat configuration, all driving either in comfort if you're on a Grand Tour for example, Gran Turismo style journey, or if you want to push a little bit harder to drive like this on a nice twisty road, enjoying the car staying pretty flat, putting the power down with the Quattro system and just riding the curves and basically putting a smile on the face as it should. First impressions then, well, that was a pretty good drive on the road here. You can feel how the car mixes the practicality with the sporty design. You know, you have the hatchback, the luggage space inside, you have the technology that Audi drivers have come to love, but you can also feel that injection of spice from Audi RS that gives you the power, the noise, and the keenness to get up and go.